That's never a good sound for a truck to make. Dang, I really pissed her off by not taking that rain, didn't I? It's not like it's some personal slight on her. It's just personal. Not to her, though. What are those voices? Maybe I'm imagining it. I don't know. Wow. It's basically exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like Most things do with time. On a windowsill. From the outside? It almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? What do you- I wouldn't get a chance to. Sure. Or a choice to, Everywhere rather. I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. He has a point. After you. All right. I want to see what's in the uh, window did first. Did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? No, the I just wanted to see right the there. window. Oh, you're snarky. Ah. Yeah, the house key? Locked. Well, it's a good thing I remembered this. You sure that's the right key? Don't tell me I got the wrong key. Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Ooh. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. Nope, this you is what windows are for. Yeah, we find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. Well, we can try the window. I could break a window. You know, ah, yeah, probably not a good idea. People don't do that, right? Oh, so we're civilized now? Well, maybe not. But we are trying to sell this place, and broken windows aren't exactly a meant. <sighs> the crafty Neither is this goblins. entire house. Anyways. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not, or kiss the planet goodbye. Is this one still locked too? Open sesame. Let me guess. <laughs> it's locked. Yup. Know any other secret passwords? Hmm. Honeydew, you need a hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. Yeah. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Or a crowbar. Use that leverage.
You oh. really want to go out there? No, you're right. You really want to go out there? Well, no, where else? Right. <laughs> he just gives up. He's like, no, you're right. I wonder if there are still fish in the lake. Uncle yeah, Eddie taught us probably not raw right, right now. You still fish? Nope. You? Every not Sunday morning. Once oh. I could leave fireweed, of course. Hello? Totally. At first, it kind of made me crazy. And then I started to really like it. It was relaxing. Really? Yeah, you know. The lake, the water, the sky. Me, just a speck in the middle of it all. A speck with a spliff? Always. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily. Remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. I remember she made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. We gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Doesn't seem like the greenest source of energy. Not like she had the money for solar panels. Okay, so I'm looking for a screwdriver, I guess. I mean, the closest place I could think of to find one would be that maybe over here. Remember how whenever we lost our toys in the sand, we thought them. Ah, uh, you're out of your element, little guy. How do you know? Maybe he's a snowfish. No such thing. Hey, I think that's the same rake I cut my foot on. Wait, your foot? Wasn't that me? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. How many sandcastles did we build with this? None that survived. We thought this sandbox would hide us from the mad hunter, remember? That's right. <laughs> the sand Ollie was and what, supposed Vessel. to distort his piercing eye. Ah, uh, the mad hunter. That was some dark shit for two little kids. Yeah, that's why we liked it. So I need a screwdriver. Maybe out here? <laughs> Just the way she came. You know, barreling down. What's that? No, let me look. Um, no beavers. Too Damn. bad. A picture of him would have helped with the sale. Yeah. Say people love cute furry animals. Teeming with wildlife, but not the kind that eats the insulation. Full of unique psychotic memories. Comes pre-haunted, so you can live out your paranormal investigator fantasy. Yep. <laughs> yep. We should do this for a living. Yes. Yes, we should. <laughs> Just lie down and take a nap here. Oh, looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. I can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah. Move, Allison! Scared everybody else off, too. Okay, I actually have no idea. I know I'm meant to be looking for a screwdriver, but that's it. I guess I didn't look here yet. We can try it. Damn. At least we don't seem to have any squatters. Not yet, anyway.
if I were a screwdriver, where would I be? Oh, maybe out here. I can't believe these are still here. Yeah, we should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Oh, there's a At shed. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. It's locked, all right. Damn. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Hey, I see a screwdriver. Now all we need to do is get inside. Wait, I, um... Feeling something strange. What is happening? I'm confused. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I, I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. Could be. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Okay, screwdriver, screwdriver, screwdriver. But I need to find this shared memory. I found it. I'm just big dumb. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No, I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. I just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Oh, the silent no, frog. Not this one. So, which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm. Well, it's that one. Damn. Where's the key? Seriously? No? Kidding. Oh come oh, on. I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. So I can get into the shed nice now, anyways. A secret, buddy. At least the shed's still standing. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Huh. Who left this box here? It looks brand new. It wasn't me. Has someone been out here recently? Guess it's your lucky day, bro. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in?
All right. Well, let's go in. What if the door's just frozen shut? Like, nobody changed the locks, but the door's just frozen shut. I mean, they are in Alaska, after all. Holy crap! Are you sure you want to go in there? No. This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Oh, whatever it is, it's got to learn to share. Everything okay down there? Tyler? Ah! Oh, that's not funny! <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. All right. I'm going in for real this time. Okay. I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Are you okay? What happened? I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty. I'm outside. Are we? But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Holy shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the hatch? I, I think so. Dragons, straight ahead. Need to go left. You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Maybe I just want to look around. Ellis crossing Olympic event. Rock skipping. Alice, Alyssa, Ollie. Then left again after the goblins. Okay. We are the crafty goblins. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. on the right my bad yeah the left was kind of a dead end but Past i understand the treasure. Straight, straight ahead. ahead you know i almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy me too but we really are connected was tyler the one who went mental earlier uh because he killed his mom or something you know the beginning i don't know was it ew <laughs> It doesn't all have to be garbage right now. Oh, are we making this a cutscene? Ah, oh, yeah, it's probably music I'm missing. Then turn it off because it's copyright. Coming. Are you okay? I'll live. Good to hear your voice again. Yeah, same here. So, coming in or what? Just working up to it. Well, we're here. Here we are. So, how do we get started? 
We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Lead the way. Oh, I guess that's my job, isn't it? Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub and we'll be rid of that too. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. It is pretty. I'd wear it. Best mom. Best mom. <laughs> you think we ever really believed that, or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Sponsorized by the local goblins. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These yeah. came out of one of the prize uh, machines at the thanks. Becky's store, right? Yeah, you'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic, out pops a sticker. Of course. Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? March 7th. Oh. Hey, that reminds me. I owe you like 10 birthday gifts. I think we can let that slide. I mean it. Hey. You being back is the only gift I need. Hmm. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne hmm. loved having something to fix. But not the part where it got broken. Especially if we were the ones responsible. I know. I'm just saying she liked to save broken things. <clears throat> Anyways, what was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Oh my god. She pinched every penny. I couldn't read that. Hey now. Oh, hey mom. We are sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too. We should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell... Ali... No... Not to be wild all the time. That those are some weird teas. We weren't we aren't gonna do it anymore. We are sorry. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah. She thought we were gifted. What about you? You think you're gifted? I wouldn't be here if I was. What? Like, in this house with me? I mean anywhere near here. I'd be working in Juno or Seattle or something. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. She took so many pictures. Yeah. Like she wow. Oops. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. Hey! Rude. Um, Mom? About 
me joining the hockey team? Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge. That was hard to watch. Months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. <sighs> that was really hard to watch. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here with big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah, Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. That was the one time we were ever quiet. We knew she needed the sleep. We all needed her to sleep. <laughs> Marianne's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Okay. That is where I came in. Guess we're going upstairs. If you don't come up soon, I'm gonna take whatever I want from our bedroom. No way! Wait for me! Now this... This feels like home. Hey, you. I just found your twin under the house. He's seen better days. Oh, this one wasn't mine. I wonder why his saw so much worse treatment. Whenever we asked for a TV, she'd just bring home a big stack of books. I think she did us a favor with that one. Mm, you may not agree when we start digging into the HBO back catalog. We'll see. True. Ugh. Some of our old toys give me the creeps. Look what I found! What? Only our greatest creation, the Book of Goblins. <laughs> Seriously? It... All these stories. I had ideas for so many more. Marianne wrote a lot of them. Yeah. It's one of the only times I remember her being at peace. Ah, uh, where is it? You looking for something in particular? My diary. You never told me about it. Yeah. With the way Marianne was, I tried extra hard to keep it a secret. Marianne. Yeah, that day she found out about it. Mom? Mom, where is it? What did you do with it? What now? I can't find my diary. I know you stole it. Give it back. Sweetie, whatever I do, it's just for your benefit. You read it, didn't you? You had no right to do that. I have the right to do whatever I need to protect my little girl. I'm not your girl. I hate you. You will always be my little girl. And no matter how hard you fight me, I'll fight twice as hard to keep you safe. God, this is really getting difficult to watch. I don't know how I never saw it coming. She told me right to my face. She was willing to hurt me, to keep me from transitioning. Ty, 
Tyler, there is no way you could have known she'd go that far. Yeah, maybe I want my not. diary back. Her room was the only place I didn't look. Okay, but do you need to get it, like, now? That diary was important to me, Allison. Writing down my thoughts helped me realize who I am. Well, then let's go find it. You think her room is still locked? It always was. Great, so I need to find a key for that. I know, but we'll have to eventually, and I need it back. The Ice King finally caught the hag. His furious voice could be heard throughout the forest. For your wickedness, you will be eternally bound to the lake. What? No way. Quiet, let me finish. You will no longer be allowed to leave. Not even under a full moon. The moon hag was imprisoned in the lake, and she never again tried to escape. Hmm. Hmm. And then the title. What do you think? Not bad, right? Uh, I guess that's okay. But I would have changed the end. What? No way! The Ice King. I totally forgot about him. Someone <laughs> ripped off Adventure Time. His name. He was too powerful. Ah, Voldemort. Where'd you come from? That. A tale of two swords. <laughs> I guess I saw everything. Oof. Hold up. What? Remember this? Uh, unfortunately. You must solve my riddle to earn the right to enter the princess's sanctum. Nothing a good hard shove won't take care of. I mean, yes, we could brute force it, but it might be kind of fun to finally solve it, right? We have different definitions of the word fun. Okay, well, if we break it, we're just gonna have to fix it for the sale. So let's at least try not to. You have the Book of Goblins? Yep. Hand it over. What are you looking for? The image on the door. It's making me think of a story from the book. One that Marianne wrote. You have a way better memory than me. Well, the Book of Goblins was my creation. And you'll never let anyone forget it. Here it is. The one about the princess's party. Give it a read. I think the symbols may represent something in the story. First ghost memories, now storybook puzzles. What a weird day. What a weird childhood. Touche. What am I... Hang on, let me focus here. So there's a pelican, a bear. I don't know what that third thing is. Is that a cat or something? Another bear and then a moose.
Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the And boom, we're in. So many years, I expected this to feel more, you know, like a win. Speak for yourself. I'm the one who solved the riddle. Why do I feel like you're not going to let me forget that? Hmm. <laughs> you didn't have to hand me the book. Where do you think we should start looking? I don't know. Where in this mess would she stash someone else's personal thoughts? Give me a second. I need to uh, actually be able to see what I'm doing. Sorry, I had a pop up. She and Tessa were best friends. Until suddenly they weren't. Wonder what happened. Either Tessa got sick of Marianne's moods or Marianne got sick of Tessa's judgment. I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. Oh, they used to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... And... They're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listened through the door. Seeing her like this. As if she's still here. This it really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? It's here. Of course, she had it. to change the name. I fucking on it. knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. What else did she do in it? If she changed the diary, there's. Or if she changed the title of it, you know, the name from Tyler to Ollie. Don't, Allison. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler. What? Look. Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? 
She was mad I, I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I f finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> She's not even cutting the hair. She's a liar. Whoa. Is it all gone? Yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <sighs> Thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. Oof. I feel more like... Like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm um, pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? wrong. This is all wrong. Wait! Stop! Glad we found your diary. Me 
to. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project. I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. But she, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense. I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler. Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it, then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. Must be nice to be able to forget. So, say we get our answers and it becomes crystal clear Marianne didn't attack you because of your hair. What then? We deal with it when we get there. But knowing that would mean everything to me. I get it. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But... We need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. Look, I've already explained why this is so important to me. Why are you still dragging your feet? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just, you graduated three years ago, and this is the first time we've seen each other in person. It's not that I didn't want to see you. I just wasn't ready to be Tyler in Delos Crossing. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh god, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells... Allison, the smells... Men smell bad. I know. I've dated a few. Look, I needed some not time wrong. to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? Oh my god, Tyler. Really? What? Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. Maybe it did. Or maybe nothing's changed, and we dig up that nightmare for no reason. So, it's not worth the risk to you? 
Not if it means throwing away all our plans. Your plans. It's your plan to sell the house. Your plan to go to Juno. Me? I'm just looking for some goddamn peace of mind. How about we start digging without putting off the sale? And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So, we have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. Sounds good to me. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Mom and Allison argued again. At least, I'm to, at least I'm not the only one mom that's screaming at now. Mom almost seemed jealous we didn't tell her about what we were playing to do in the forest. Allie thinks we should tell her about our voice. I think she knows already. Mom seemed really upset when I asked to join the hockey team. Like it's wrong for me to play a boy's sport. I'm gonna keep asking. I will try again next week. She said no again. I'm so mad at her. Why does she always say no? Why doesn't she ever let me do what I want to do? Allison and I started writing a story. Well, Allison did. She didn't like it when I tried to change anything. Why can't one of the boy goblins be a... Why can't one of the goblins be a boy goblin? I saw Star Wars yesterday at Bobby's place. Luke was so great. But mom found out we watched it and she got mad. Is that a glorified war? Zion, Zion. Saturday, 5th of February, 2005. Would mom be happier if I could do what you wanted me to? When she looks at me, she just doesn't see me. I wish I could show her. I wish I could make her understand. I think she doesn't want to. Allison told me again that it was my fault mom got angry at us. She is such a suck up. Mom's barely said anything to us these last few days. Allie said she saw her throwing away pages from the Book of Goblins. March 1st, 2005. Or January 3rd, who knows. Do this, do that. I am sick of her voice. I'm sick of that dumb name too. I'm Ollie, the Goblin. Angsty. Nice ring. Get from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah. This ring is supposed to be linked to the one Eddie had made for you. You know, twins rings. Something like that. Oh, um, that's a little weird, but <laughs> also kind of cool. I've still got it, right here in my pocket. Uh, nice try, but not today. Maybe another time, though. Can't blame a girl for trying. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so much on my mind. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Need to respond to a message. Uh-huh. My sister... A social butterfly. Tyler left his diary Seems out there. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. They don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler. My brother. Oh, your brother? 
Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... Damn, you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. Oof, you know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. We're not getting into it. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, no. I've never seen it, dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. So, what are you doing out here? So what are you doing here exactly? This oh, is my uh, property. Yeah. I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking the pipes, and all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. The hell do you mean by that? Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mom never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. Well, I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh so, uh, Guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well, she may have one or two left. Allie, can you...
Can you hear me? Ty, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um... Everything okay with you two? Yes. No. No. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Something I'd say. I only have two questions that I already asked, so I guess I'm done. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? That's all I got the option to. Unless there was supposed to be more, I found. Too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make, and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right. Yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all got to get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I, lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh, this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like well, it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? All right, Tyler, uh, now you're just rubbing it in. Yeah, well, uh... Take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. But surely he makes his way across the room. <laughs> <laughs>